Every one of us have people in our lives who sometimes we have to reprimand, we have to criticize. Those are the people in our circle of influence. The Torah even tells us that sometimes it's a mitzvah to correct someone's ways if we have the power to get them to improve or to fix a mistake that they've made. But we also taught that to give criticism, we have to know how. Effective criticism is not easy to achieve. In this week's Parsha, we find that Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, before he passed away, he reprimanded, he criticized the Jewish people about all the things that they, that they had done throughout the 40 years in the desert. But we find that he criticized them in a very interesting way. He didn't explicitly detail the things that they had done wrong. He cryptically just used, used sort of code forms just to highlight and to hint and to remind them subtly about the things that they have done and the commentaries tell us is because he didn't want to be harsh. He didn't want to confront them in a strict and severe way because that wouldn't be effective. You wouldn't get the outcome that he wanted to achieve. So he did it softly, he did it cryptically, he did it using codes, subtle reminders. However, the Torah also tells us a very another interesting development in this whole process of reprimanding others. Because we find that after he subtly reminded them about their mistakes, later on in the Pasha, he goes into quite long detail about the things that they had done wrong. So why the change? And one idea is because when we reprimand someone and the person is receptive and they then want to mend their ways, then we have to go into more detail. Once they're on side, we have to tell them and explain to them that they don't have to completely discard their mistake. They don't have to completely abandon their failure because their failure contains some good stuff to learn from, to improve on, to channel into something positive. So once Moshe Rabbeinu had got them on side, then he does go into detail because he says, let's sit together and learn from it. Let's understand, let's break down the details so we can learn from it and improve and become better and stronger people. So initially when we reprimand someone, we need to do it effectively and subtly. But then when they're on side, we need to break it down for them so that we can learn and channel into something positive. Have a wonderful day and a good Shabbos.